Welcome back, everybody. We are here down in southern Illinois at Shawnee National Forest. Um, we're actually doing some camping down here. We're not overlanding. This is the closest that we can get to any type of overlanding down here in Illinois area. Um, so we just wanted to kind of get you guys in the mindset of where we're at. And this is probably going to be the most rustic area that we can get to. Um, there's not really any private land, or, sorry, public lands where you can actually go overland with. But this is probably going to be the closest that we can get to. So let's take a look at some of this stuff and show you guys around. As we make our way back to Shawnee National Park campground, um, it's actually Lake Glendale that we're staying at. Um, this is actually probably the closest that we can actually get to an overlanding experience here, here in Illinois. Um, so we're just going to kind of enjoy the scenery as we make our way back to the campground. To give us the most experience as far as overlanding, we've opted out for just a basic campsite, no electricity, no sewer, no dump stations, no nothing. Um, this is traditionally known as a primitive or um, tent camping site. And just like that, day one is completed. Good morning, everybody. Um, so we got up this morning, beautiful weather, slept, I think I slept really good. Kids are staying there hearing a lot of stuff, so they're just not used to this kind of thing. Um, the wife, not so much. I'm trying to get her into this still. Um, she she's into it, but she's just she likes her creature comforts, um, her own bed, that kind of thing. So, but you know, I I think it was definitely worth it, um, as you can see. Right outside there, there's a lake. So, I think. This has been a, a great trip. So we're gonna do some more exploring today and yeah. Kind of take it easy and just relax. Yeah, it, it to get back. I know. Probably only go down one more. Yeah, I'm getting low. but it's not. You go down the road and it's actually over here.
The Garden of the Gods trail actually has a couple different ones that you can go on um, from what we're reading. It looks like it's about 30, mi or 30 minutes for you to complete the trail, so we decided to take that challenge and go around and take a look at some of the scenery. After a nice little hike, we decided to jump in the car and do some more exploring and just driving around to see what other attractions Shawnee National Park has to offer. Just like that, day two comes to an end and some relaxation around the campfire. So as our adventure at Shawnee National Park comes to an end and we decide to start getting base camp all packed up and get ready to go, we decide to take another drive out and explore a little more today. These horses were really nice to just kind of watch and enjoy some of the peace and quiet out here. And of course, you can't go out into the wilderness without seeing some of the wildlife. And some of these deer were just kind of shocked to see us. And it's kind of nice seeing their natural habitat.
So this adventure was very special to me because my wife actually grew up down in this area for a few years of her life with her dad and her mom. Um, her dad was a correctional officer and he was stationed in this location over in Vienna. Um, and it was amazing to see her go through and tell me all about the, the stories that she had to tell me about in this area and all the fun they had and different things they can do and some of the stuff that she actually took us to on this trip was from when she was a kid and I'm glad she got to experience some of it again as she's an adult and gets to share it with, with her kids. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys on the next trail as we continue through the United States exploring all these great parks and trails. See you guys next time.